G'day, this video is on uh, transformations using matrices. Uh, but the, the difference between this video and the other video that I've made is that uh, this one looks at um, transforming a an image graph back to an original graph. Um, so rather than going from a particular graph, applying that matrix and getting the image, we're going to do the opposite way around. We're going to get the image and we're going to apply some transformation um, and then get back to the original function. So hopefully you can follow with me on this one. Okay, so what, what I need to do is basically the same kind of process that I did uh, in, the, in the past. So I'm still going to expand this matrix out. So in this case, I'm going to get um, x dash equals negative x plus zero and y dash equals y plus two. Hopefully you can you know remember how to multiply matrix out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually insert this one back into uh, into this image here, but I'm going to do things a little bit differently because um, this essentially is y dash and that essentially is x dash. Okay, so what I'm going to do, rather than re in the previous video, I rearranged to find out what x is and then subbed in x into up here. I don't need to do that anymore because this is the image over here and I'm going to try to go back to the original function. So I'm just going to do the complete reverse. So I'm going to sub where I see x dash, I'm going to sub in whatever that is over there and when I say y dash, I'm going to sub in whatever it is over here, and hopefully that will take me back to my original. So in this case, I get um, y plus 2 equals negative x minus 1 plus 2. Okay, and now I'm just going to tidy this up a little bit, and hopefully we'll get an answer. So I'm just going to get y equals negative x minus 1. Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take out oh, that negative as a common factor and make it x plus 1. And then the 2 minus 2 will cancel and it's at 0. So obviously I can see here that it's not C, D or E. It's got to be either A or B. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply, because that negative applies to all of this, you know, it's taken out of the bracket, I can actually apply the absolute on this negative and make it positive and therefore it kind of just disappears. Hopefully that doesn't um, confuse you too much. But that means that that would just be X plus 1, Ooh, plus 1 and then the absolute around it like that. So therefore the answer would be B. Okay, so hopefully that has helped a little bit. I'm going to do it on something slightly diff uh, more difficult next time uh, because I'm going to do something where there's uh, dilations as well so that we can um, see the difference there. Okay, here we go. Here's a three mark question. Um, and once again, I'm actually using this graph here. This is the image and I'm actually going to use this transformation, this matrix that transforms to get back to this one over here, one on X squared. Okay, so essentially this over here is my Y dash and my X dash and I'm going to transform that using this matrix to get there. So I'm just going to go through what I would normally go through. I'm going to say that X dash equals A times, I've got to be careful here because those brackets are added together. So the brackets there means that those are added together first. So it's X plus B and this one would be Y dash equals Y plus C. And now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to apply this back up to my original one over here. So I get um, Y plus C equals um, 1 over A times C plus, sorry, not times C, A times X plus B. And all of that is squared. Um, and I think that's all I've got. Yep, that's right. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make sure that mine looks um, fairly similar to that. So I'll just do this y equals 1 over a times x plus b squared plus c. And now I can just read it off that, you know, this one, 1 over 2x minus 3 squared plus 1 needs to be the same as that. So I can work out what A, B, and C are. So I can see very clearly that C equals one, that um, this one, I'll just do one more change to that. That becomes one over two X minus three over two. And all of that is still squared plus one. Sorry, it's getting a little bit tricky there, but I can tell you now that A equals two and that B equals negative three over two. So if I wanna get that original graph here, to um, you know, go into this transformation, um, you know, to get back to my original graph, I would need to make sure that those um, things are there. So C is one, A is two, and B is negative three on two. 
Now, I mean, you can do this another way too. Like sometimes I can just, you know, uh, look at this graph here and I can say that I, I have translated it one up and I've, so I've, got, I've dilated it by a factor of, you know, something from the y-axis, you know, moved it to the right and up one. I could just do the reverse of those things and then find out what it is, you know, I guess going back into the matrix. But I feel like this way is a slightly um, better way of, of actually trying to find it out using algebra. If you'd like to have a go at another couple of questions that are um, fairly similar to these types, um, I've got a couple down here and I'll just find them for you. There we go. If you try either of those two questions there, I believe that they're very similar. Um, so you can have a go at trying to practice them yourself. So if you need any more help, please let me know. Sorry, I've realized I've just made one slight mistake that you probably picked up already. Um, when I when I had this one over here, I put the plus C over on this side as well. So it was, you know, um, something plus C, I, so I got that C equals one, but in fact, negative C equals one, and so therefore C equals negative one. Just a minor little slip up that I made. Um, hopefully, you know, you'd already picked that, picked that up anyway, um, but there you go, that's all fixed up now. So thanks for watching.